What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are <laughs> back at home. If anyone has information leading to the arrest of Dr. Disrespect, we are offering 20 trazillion Twitch coins. <laughs> Hold on. Let's explain why we're not in the studio. Oh, why aren't we at the studio? Oh, yeah. Well, wasn't oh, yeah. There... oh, my God. Yeah. So, you know. what? What is it? Some... No, Some, DWP is cutting the power to that area. Um, and, and, yeah, so the the landlord texted us. He goes, hey, man, no power, specifically on Wednesday. <laughs> and we're like, god damn it. Well, that's our day, man. <laughs> first day, first day, first episode back in the studio, and already we're kicked out. Kicked not, out. Man, I'll tell you, our studio's creepy. I went over there yesterday to pick up... Um, the old focus right yeah uh just to like do a test setup mm-hmm. uh, and there's no one there it's just one of the guys like working in his shop but that's it i don't know if anyone's <laughs> been there since the start of the quarantine well except for the other reason why we can't go is because well, there's a yeah. person that is been a, yeah so just wandering in and out apparently <laughs> yeah they, so our landlord called me and he says hey man uh have you had anyone, any employees come by in the last couple of weeks? I said, nah, man, Wednesday was our, last Wednesday was our first day back. He goes, all right, because people keep telling me about a person who keeps asking for a master key and he claims to be with you guys. And then, so what? I guess, yeah, so I guess one day, and, and by you guys, he just says, I'm with the guys upstairs. Oh, so, holy fuck. It's some creepy shit like I that. I was just started freaking out for a second because I was going to joke that we had like a stalker or something, but then that became a reality all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm with so, the meat boys. Yeah, I'm with the meat guys. The meat boys upstairs. So uh, what, 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 was, what, what did he say? So he said this guy comes into the, to the building recently and he, he pops in this dude's shop and he says, hey, man. Is there a master key? I can't get into my to my spot. And the guy says, nah. If there was, the landlord has it, and he's not here right now. He says, oh, okay. And he says, who are you, who are you with? He says, I'm with the guys upstairs. So he says, all right. Um, okay. And then so he said that guy leaves the shop. He goes upstairs towards our studio. And so this dude in the shop gets you know skeptical, and he follows him up to our studio basically and he said the guy walks up to our door at the studio pauses for a second and then he just turns around and starts leaving no yeah i don't like this i don't like this at all yeah i do not like this yeah this is giving me a bad feeling in my stomach and i don't like it yeah so uh landlord is is going to i mean if if you haven't listened to the podcast dude and you're (laughs) you're trying to (laughs) sneak in to lick our studio equipment uh cameras are being put in he's trying to sneak in just to smell the mics yeah just <sighs> i knew it would <sighs> smell like coffee I knew he's, it. Like, <laughs> he's like he goes to the mic he's like what's up guys this is actually <laughs> last week's episode oh, it feels so good to say it <sighs> dude i don't like this yeah, it's the third member of, of, of the podcast that we kicked out <laughs> before the first episode, and he was our lifelong bro, and it's about to be... It's just fucking Sam. It's like, yeah, it's Sam. It's just Sam. It's Sam trying to prank us for all the times we've shit-talked him behind his back on the podcast. Yeah. Behind his back, in front of his back. <laughs> behind his back to his face. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so he said he's going to install a bunch of... You know, extra cameras and uh, he's we got to move. He's well, swapping out just, the locks. <laughs> yeah, the studio was good while well, it lasted for one episode. Now we're never going back. So get I mean, used to this format, <laughs> guys. I don't know if we can go back there, man. I'm I'm a bit creeped out. I'm really creeped out. 
it's creepy because no one's there. That's the part that I don't like is no one is there. When I went to go pick up that interface, I I don't know, man. It was it was it was the vibe was off. Anyway. Dude, the, the the thing is the it locks from the inside. Mm -hmm. You can or you can lock it, but it doesn't have an unlock thing on the inside. You need the key to get out. So you can get locked in. And we were mm -hmm. leaving last time. We locked Kyle in. <laughs> Imagine how creepy that would be. Not being yeah. able to and it's like a thick deadlock. Yeah. You're not you're not getting out that bitch. No. You definitely can't pick it. It's a big boy. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh So that's whatever. why we're back here and now we're at home doing this mm. virtually to talk about but it's only right because we need to talk about all the all the Twitch drama that's going on. Twitch has been serving the best reality show yet. Dude, it's wild. It's it's it really is a full on reality show just by itself. The amount of fucking drama is juicy. Yeah. It's I mean I mean that's why that's why people love the just chatting IRL category because it has so much. There's so yeah. there's so much drama in that way. Uh shout out to live stream fails. <laughs> Those are the the journalists of the Twitch community. <laughs> fucking um anyway. So yeah, I don't know what you want to start with because there's, there's so much to and 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 you don't even have to be a Twitch like consumer to really get into this shit because it it's so good, man. Well, that's the thing. Like these people are all like like just huge celebrities on their own right now. I don't even feel like do you think people probably know Do Dr. Disrespect even if you don't watch him on Twitch, you know of him. You know nah. that he's the biggest streamer. Same with Ninja. I don't think so, man. I think actually You don't think so? Nah, I think Dr. Disrespect, he's got a specific type of notoriety, but I'd argue it's still pretty internet heavy. It, it, yeah. Ninja has been on like SNL and weird NBC shows. Like pe people know Ninja. Target knows Ninja. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's no knock on Dr. Disrespect, but uh, so I mean, you know. What's whole, your theory? Okay, so just for everyone who doesn't know, because these names sound like wrestler names as far as anyone else is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> it's also hilarious to be a grown man named Ninja. I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but that is so funny to be 30 years old and it to be really funny. actually called Ninja. <laughs> I, was, I was explaining Dr. Disrespect's thing to someone who wasn't involved or like, you know, who doesn't know about streaming at all. Oh, they don't get it. And I was like, yeah. So it, and they were like, wait, it's a character? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, so he puts on the the wig and the aviators like every time in the costume. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, so he has to just do that every day. That's his job, putting on a costume. And, and that, I was like, yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> I hate how people say that like that's not a thing in TV. Well, fucking, I mean, I guess the immediate examples I go to are children's shows, but that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is kind of funny. I mean, Sasha Baron I mean, I guess Cohen? putting on like a... Yeah, Geology, know. you know, it's like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You no, know? but it's every day. It's not like a shoot. It's like every day, all yeah. day. But I mean, you know, whatever method. I think it's amazing. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think he he's so goddamn funny, dude. He's he's hilarious, and I mean, his stream production is out of this fucking world. I fucking I have so <laughs> much respect for that shit, dude. <laughs> Marcus linked me a clip of uh, from a stream recently where he's like he's like watching a trailer for some new game. Yeah, he's like he pauses and he's like, "Dude, imagine playing this on console." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play yeah. this on my three hundred and fifty thousand dollar PC. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone in someone in his chat was bugging him, and he was like, <laughs> he was like, uh, what, "What did he say?" He said something about, "You're probably an accountant for a company you don't even own." Meanwhile, I'm driving <laughs> ten Lambos. Dude, when when he was roasting that kid, when he, he he's like he's like five views, seven views, quit, <laughs> quit. I, I forget at what point in that in that segment or that sequence where he, he he goes on Reddit. He's like, oh, could you imagine going on Reddit? You're at the bottom of the barrel, upvoting <laughs> posts, talking to people. What is your life? I was crying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Oh man! <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, well, 
fucking A. So if you don't know, he's one of the biggest streamers. Yeah. <laughs> he's been doing it for like a decade now. And uh, he got banned just out of the blue. Nobody yeah. knows why. That's the weirdest part is they didn't. Yeah. Nobody has said. No, z- zero people know why. Yeah. And, and so his sponsors keep doing weird things. And he's got big sponsors, man, like Mountain Dew and whatever. Uh, you know, they they like Razor. You know, they they took down pages featuring his endorsements and they put them back up and then they took them back down again. So everyone is staring at that thinking, what the fuck? You know? It's and then weird. It's crazy. And I'm so, sure people... No, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you're fine. No, no, you're fine. No, no, please, you're fine. You're please, fine. please be my guest. No, 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 go ahead. Um, well, <laughs> you might be thinking, if you don't know, you know, about streaming or whatever, you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? Like, you start yeah. a new stream, people will follow you and or start on a different website or whatever. Or whatever. But they have exclusive contracts. You know, mm. he signed a multi-million dollar exclusive contract to stream on Twitch. And, you know, Probably. he makes millions a year just from streaming. Yeah, all the endorsements, all the subscriptions he has on Twitch. He spent you know, a decade building up his audience on Twitch, all to have that just be removed in a second, mm-hmm. like so the, ended everything. Yeah, nobody so, knows why. Well, the only update that he gave is that Twitch didn't give him a reason. So there's a clip of a dude who I think used to be a Twitch admin, and I, and I don't know his name. I, I feel bad for not knowing his name, but he basically <laughs> he. Or I think he used to be an employee at Twitch. Either way, he's sitting there and he's really conflicted. He says, I really want to talk about this, but I can't. He said, the only thing I can say is that if you get a ban, Twitch usually doesn't give you a reason as to why. It's, it's, not, it's not required. If you're suspended, I think it's a bit different. Or if you get a temporary ban, but a permanent ban, you're not always um, given a reason. So... Either you know what you did, or it was reported by a third party. So that's what makes it weirder. So do, does someone have something on him and got him banned? Or is it something that Doc is doing and he knows he's doing and he's playing dumb? That's what makes what, it weird. What, it, what could it be, though? So, so to, to make it interesting, because <laughs> everyone is like, why the fuck do I care about this? So what... What some in his last stream, what made it really bizarre for people was he was just acting super odd. It's the final eight minutes of the stream, and he yeah, kind of checks it. his phone and he gets kind of choked up and he starts referencing this weird right wing conspiracy theorist and he's like screaming strange shit, like wake up and you know, uh, there's a the final 30 seconds he has this behavior where it seems like he he physically reacts to like the same action you would do if you heard a loud noise and and uh he abruptly ends the stream like he kind of looks to his left and right and he goes fuck and then he ends the stream so people were speculating oh maybe he knew he was getting arrested and the police were showing up and it was like in the middle of them sh- coming and he knew they were on their way to pick him up some goofy shit like that and you know that was kind of eh but the big one that caught my eye and and i think maybe has legs is people are speculating that him ninja and shroud because ninja and shroud are no longer at mixer they got their big payday and now they're off yeah um they speculate that the three of them were maybe setting up to create a streaming platform with google and so they think there could be some weirdness there where uh maybe doc got caught recruiting people um and i read something that you know this guy claimed to be like a former Twitch uh, IT person. I saw that too. That four chan post. Yeah, and and uh, he, I I don't I don't I don't think I saw it from four chan. It was like paraphrased somewhere. But basically, yeah, he was um, uh, saying that he thinks that Google is, is um, setting up to sue the fuck out of Twitch, and maybe it'll be some weird legal battle. Um, but I haven't seen any I, tweets about like motions filed or anything. And this guy like swore, he's like, Monday, you're going to see these documents. So maybe they're there and I haven't seen them, but I would have assumed. No, nothing so, happened. Yeah, I would assume Slasher would have said something. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be that. So I don't know. And it's, it's just ambiguous. It's also like, why would Google create their own streaming platform right as Microsoft is shutting theirs down? Yeah, yeah. Like that. right as Microsoft is like, we can't compete. With Twitch, mm-hmm. it's not worth it for us. Yeah. 
doesn't really maybe or maybe it makes more sense at that point for them for them to do it. Hola, Noel. <laughs> I was Hola. yawning. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Do you know Do you know what that means? You probably don't. Do you? No, I don't. Hola. It's a Spanish yeah. word, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a Spanish word. Got it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been learning Spanish recently. Nice. How are you doing? Yeah. That? Well, with the help of Babbel, actually. Oh, okay, go on. Yeah, Babbel uh, is designed to get you speaking your new language within weeks with daily ten to fifteen minute lessons. It's oh. also the sponsor of today's episode. Okay. Babbel teaches real life conversations. You are not learning words and phrases out of context. Uh, you learn through through interactive dialogues. It works because it's built around real life, how people communi- actually communicate and what they care about. Lessons wow. are thoughtfully created by over 100 language experts. That is real people and not by a translation machine. Awesome. And uh, their teaching method has been proven to be effective across multiple studies. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. No way. I'm, I'm being serious. Um, and the speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. And Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced across all devices. That's incredible. Why don't you tell them what the offer is? Well, right now, guys, Babbel's offering uh, you guys three months free with a purchase of a three-month subscription with the promo code TMG. So you go to Babbel.com, use promo code TMG on your three-month subscription. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code TMG. Babbel, language for life. Uh, while you're posted in quarantine too, learn a new language. So when you can finally travel again, which is two years from now, you'll be able to speak fluently in probably three different languages because you'll have the time to learn. Exactly. So, hit it. But doesn't really. But the, the, uh, that post also said it was a joint effort between Spotify and Google to, which makes no fucking sense. Sense yeah. sounds like somebody just making some shit up that that hoping that people reshare it. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, that that part of it, um, I think is right, but you know. I, it, this is just so juicy, though. Yeah, it, ma- it makes you wonder what the fuck is going on, because then you're, everyone's mind goes the other way. What fucked up shit could he have been doing to get banned? You know, the immediate, because he, he, got, he cheated on his wife before. Yeah. And, and that was a big deal, so. But you, you know. like, getting banned for that, would, that's a personal thing, right? I mean, they can you ban you for banned. stuff off platform now. They're, Twitch is kind of taking it, you know, upon themselves to. I, I think they're just trying to uh, remove anything that that. Um, uh, I don't. It's like super controversial. I think. I think okay. they really want to get away from that. Yeah. So it, it just, but. It, you know, with their whole safety council thing. I don't know. You, you you can't call it, though, because they're so inconsistent. So you don't really know what the fuck they're doing. But either way, I mean, I, don't, I wish I had jokes about this shit, but I'm really just drawn in. I, I want to know. Me too. I want to know. <laughs> I just want to know. I want to know what the fuck is good. Because he it was, ma- he was like one of the most a- admired figures on, on Twitch. No, yeah. And just on social media like- in general, like just what he's accomplished. Uh-huh. And, and stuff and like just his his content and his audience and it was just everything it was great mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden just gone yeah and w- nobody knows why it's so bizarre i mean it just when makes this me ever feel happened? like it makes me feel like such a smooth brain that i care so much and i and i can't see any humor in it or i can't generate a joke but it's it's fucking bizarre and there you know the, a lot of people are speculating that he's doing time you know, like he's in jail or something right now, and that's why he's not talking, and there's no update, and as this, what the fuck? Wow, wow! But with his with his endorsement showing wait, up, wait, what if and, he's dead? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> what if he's dead? Yeah, and then uh, he comes back as uh, evil Doctor Disrespect on Facebook Gaming for twenty <laughs> trillion dollars. It's the same thing, but he's just got a red mullet. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I really want to know. Yeah, Doc, I, if you're if you're Doc, listening to this, if you're yeah, watching, just, just hit us up a, DM. We won't tell anyone. We yeah, promise. just text me, bro. Just, just text, text me, man. Me. <laughs> hit us up, man. It's been a while. Yeah, I'll, I'll dox my number on the podcast just so I could, you know, get some confirmation from you, my man. <laughs> Let's I get just, Kyle. Let's get Kyle to get him on the show. Yeah, and he'll reveal to everyone 
why he got banned on TMG. Bro, th- he's a big motherfucker. You seen that guy? Yeah, he's 6'8". Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, man. He used to... He used to... <laughs> Marcus said he goes by two-time because he won... He won a dunk contest when he was like 14 or something. Yeah. <laughs> like his high school dunk contest, something yeah. like that. And then he won it again the next year. And yeah. so now he goes by two-time champion. <laughs> I mean, bro, the, the just whole... so funny. I, I remember watching Doc, you know... You know, way back when when Twi- Twitch was an in infancy, but it was it it was starting to become a bit more mainstream. I remember d- this like he's the first dude that I had seen with that much production value, and I thought, holy fuck, man, the commitment to this is yeah insane. <laughs> he's such a spectacle, even for all his mistakes, he's such a spectacle. So I, I want to fucking I want to know what's happening with this guy. I really hope it's not something shitty. I really hope it's, uh, I don't know. Well, he well there was a there was a kind of an interesting clip on uh, on critical. He did a video on it. And yeah, it was like clips from his stream, like pretty recently, where he's talking about buying a whole bunch of this these weird rocks that apparently <sighs> like negate five G frequencies and like conspiracy theorist shit. Okay, and it was a little bit weird, and so. I guess like one of the one of the um, theories is that they banned him because he was like spreading misinformation to his oh. audience who was like, pretty young. Uh. Like, he, they didn't want people, you know, his young audience like starting to go vandalize five G towers because all of a sudden they think it gives you fucking cancer right. or whatever. Right. I mean, it could be, it, dude. It could be that simple. It, it might not be anything that it could be something like that. Yeah, it's but just, that's not a permanent ban. That's like a hey, stop doing that. You would think. But who knows? That's <laughs> I'm like trying to think of something funny to say about this whole thing, but it's it's just wild uh-huh. to have your whole career ripped out from underneath you in a second. The weirdest part about it is that they refunded everybody's subs. When when would they ever do that? Twitch loves taking money. So why That's would they weird. why would they give all that money back? They they love taking that money. <laughs> Dude, this is so juicy. Mother, motherfuckers get banned. They don't get their subs don't get refunded. It's just oh yeah, he got banned. He fucked up. But uh thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of that is ours now. Yeah. We know you paid for uh four weeks of content, but it's fine. You're just gonna get two this month. Um and take it out on the creator and stress him the fuck out. Make him feel like shit for his mistake. Um it's <laughs> definitely his fault. Um nothing to do with us. So yeah. thanks for the money. And uh, get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Twitch's, that's their slogan. That's Thanks what it is. Money, Thanks for the money, fucked. get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of which, dude. Yeah, speaking, speaking of, of which. Fucked, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of lawsuits, Twitch so this, has a bigger lawsuit. You know, this, this, this like dropped. The like within minutes of us finishing last week's episode, and I was I know fucking pissed. I'm like, I know oh, this is I the know. one. This is some juice right here. Yeah, Twitch sued for twenty five million dollars over suggestive content. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> one man, Eric Astavio, is now suing Twitch for twenty five million dollars after he says that the streaming platform exposed him to suggestive content. Uh, this individual is not new to lawsuits, lawsuits against giant companies, having recently been involved in efforts to sue Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and Blizzard. According to the lawsuit documents that we've ob- obtained, Estevio gives a laundry list of female-only streamers that he is blaming for exacerbating his sex addiction due to his obsessive compulsive disorder and saying that it is impossible to use the service without being exposed to such content. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Obsessive Dude, simp- compulsive simping. disorder. He has to masturbate. <laughs> he cannot. Is a, <laughs> simping is a is a mental disorder. No, dude, it's it's not it's not even that. It's 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 just a function of a certain level of IQ. It's just it's 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 input output. I see woman, I masturbate. There's no <laughs> there's no in between. Bro, that is so funny to go on Twitch. And to be like, I really hope it's no women on the front page today. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Salinity. 
Oh, oh brother. No, no, oh, I have to again. do it. Zip. <laughs> Listen, okay. Here, we'll just I'll read this a little bit more and then I'll and then I'll provide a counterpoint in defense of this man. All right. Uh oh. It better be steaming hot. It better be solid, bulletproof. I gotta hear this. According to the suit, Estevio is following 786 female streamers and zero male streamers. <laughs> Argues that the site doesn't offer a way to filter streamers by gender. Therefore, he is forced to choose a game and or category to watch with thumbnails showing these scantily clad women. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> He's just trying to prove a point to his wife. Honey, it's not my fault. And I'll prove yeah. it to you. I'll, I'll sue him. <laughs> Yeah. Really look at here. Look at here. Look at my following list. Zero males. Do you see a single male on there? Exactly. <laughs> Dude, it's it's not my it's, it's not my fault. It's just uh, there's no way for me to filter. What else am I supposed to do? Here's the thing. This guy could be seriously mentally ill. I mean, yeah. OCD is a nasty one. Like he could be I mean, he could have some serious issues, right? And the thing is, if he enjoys watching Twitch and he enjoys watching people play video games and just yeah. chatting or whatever, yeah. And he he really doesn't have the option to 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 hide the the females, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Listen, if, if you go on, you might be thinking, well, then don't go on the internet, right? But you can use porn blockers and you can use, uh, um. Object, uh, uh, objectionable? Yeah, no, that's you can not the use word. filters. You can use filters, there's filters. Yeah, right? You could make the internet like a safer place for you if you had like such a yeah. you know, mental disorder like this. Yeah. Bro, um, that, mu but that Twitch, must be- But you can't. That must be wild if, like when he goes to watch Twitch, he has to like bolt his hands in. Like he has to sit like in, a, in like a pseudo electric chair. Yeah. It's so, like his wrists have to be tied down. And the mouse, you know, you know what I mean. And he, he's yeah. like, "Okay, if it's not going to happen today, I'm not, I'm not going to give in today. Yeah. I will not give. I will not spank off. I will just watch them dance and do nothing, <laughs> bro. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm yes. I'd like to sue Twitch because um, I they're making me horny. <laughs> That is, man. <laughs> oh, man. And you know what, dude? With how old uh, judges are, I could easily see him winning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. to stick it to the old nasty tech company. Yeah. You know, you should offer a way where people, children want to be on this platform. And it's not right that you have boobs on the front page. The thing is, don't they don't they ban people now, like women for, for wearing, uh, I don't know, like uh, revealing shirts and stuff? Or no, I thought that they, that's something that they did. It just depends. they don't want any sexual content at all, or do they? Depends on your relationship with Twitch. <laughs> right, right, right. So they they play favorites, right? <laughs> they definitely play favorites. Okay. Yeah, you know, like you and I could never. Right. We don't. We don't have. We don't have supple enough we don't have a beautiful bosom to to gaze at but if you were blessed we with have, a sorry go ahead if you were blessed with a beautiful bosom you may have a few mods or two that say well let's not get crazy right right but we'd need a sweet set of moves yeah sweet moves Okay, we need yeah. like a sweet, supple set of moves. Yeah, don't get it fucked up. This is not just female bosom. This is there is male bosom in 2020. Yeah, yeah, magnificent uh, moves. Yeah, mag <laughs> we should that, we're gonna start that category on Pornhub, magnificent moves, <laughs> and it's just gamers with moves playing shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> then we can expect plenty of lawsuits. From people who can't stop jerking off to that. Because that sounds hot. Copious amounts of women. I just would like to go down Pornhub and consume erotic novel type content. And I just keep getting waterboarded with males playing World of Warcraft. And I can't not masturbate to their beautiful moves. <laughs> Uh, 
Dude, we should legit sue sue Pornhub. For what? For for making making people horny. <laughs> Well, I think Pornhub actually has a lot of uh, other reasons they could be sued. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. That's very you know, true. Just like the, you know, just like the, 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 the you know, child porn and the sex trafficking. That's very stuff. true. I saw, I saw someone's tweet about that. Yeah. Cancel Pornhub. Yeah. And I'm like, it's porn. It's a user generated porn site. Like, yeah. But then when they do nothing to manage that content. It's a bit like okay, well. Do they not moderate at all? It doesn't seem like it, man. I I don't I don't I can't see why they would need why they would want a moderating team. Like if, from their perspective, they make fuckloads of money, and the premise of their site is to upload stuff that is, you know, socially taboo. So, you know, what's stopping them? What like, why why care about the content that's going on there? That and that, but I think that's a pretty, you know, that's no, a you could get, like you could get arrested i mean and yeah shut down by the government I mean, they probably have some degree of moderation but it's, <clears throat> it's probably not as intense as it should be you know and and when they moderate they probably don't investigate anything you know like th- that's the thing i think they kind of should have a responsibility for it, it, is if they're if they have a website where you can sort of <clears throat> upload explicit content they should know that that kind of comes with the territory and if you're enabling random users to upload stuff, you still kind of got to look into it, right? You know, dude, I don't know about you. What? But sometimes I feel like I need a little vacation from cooking. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, when the heat rises, mm-hmm. I'm looking for ways to do less. Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh, that's why it's easy to skip out on meal prep and keep things easy with the daily harvest. Yeah, right. Yeah? Yeah, totally. You know, yeah, right now, I mean, Daily Harvest is helping beat the heat with their refreshing smoothies and delicious scoops, okay? Their new plant-based ice cream. Damn, they got ice cream now? Yeah, scoops That's are free sick. of additives, preservatives, and fillers because they're made with whole nourishing organic ingredients like black sesame, coconut cream, and dragon fruit, and they have four amazing flavors, okay? Daily, Daily Harvest, Harvest go ahead, is yeah. a lifesaver. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, tell me let more me tell about you. it. Yeah, let me tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, they're a lifesaver. They help you stock your home with clean, delicious food that's built on real fruits and vegetables. They're farm frozen to lock in peak nut- nutrients and taste. With Daily Harvest, there's tons of options for any time of day, from smoothies to harvest bowls, flatbreads, and more. And the best part, it's ready to enjoy in minutes. Eating clean food with Daily Harvest is easy and effortless. Whether you're having a night at home or need a quick bite on the go, uh, everything stays fresh in your freezer until you're ready to enjoy it. You don't need to waste time cooking, all right? Go eat clean easily and then spend the time that you would have spent cooking on the beach showing off your beach bod. Yeah, bro. Guys, keep it simple this summer with Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com and enter the promo code TMG and get $25 off your first box. That's promo code TMG for $25 off your first box at dailyharvest.com. Dailyharvest.com. Com, com. World premiere. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah. The, I would be very surprised if they don't. I mean, let's let's verify this right now. Pornhub.com slash Pornhub no, moderate. <laughs> Pornhub.com slash big busty moves. Um They're probably search. relying heavily on user reporting. <clears throat> oh, well, useless. Does it say that? Uh I'm just reading another another Reddit thread. A what thread? Uh uh read it. Read it, it. Read it. Read it.com. Read it. Read it. I read that. Yep. Read that.com. <laughs> the thing is, like, porn sites are always on the forefront of everything, every tech innovation ever. So they were the probably the first to ever enable user generated content before YouTube was. <laughs> right. And so if they are moder- moder- moderating, I'm assuming they've been doing it earlier than anyone else. That's why I'm surprised, is because, you know. But also, that goes against what I said originally, where I'm like, it's a porn site. What do you expect? But obviously, they should be moderating so and so making sure, because that's where the worst shit is uploaded. So this is this is a pretty long article, but it's by, um, it's on Motherboard. When was this written? Oh, this is on in February this year by Emmanuel Myberg. So this is a pretty deep analysis of moderation, and it seems like his conclusion is that uh, it's not very good. On Pornhub? Yeah. It's, you know, it's 
yeah, the title is Pornhub Doesn't Care. <laughs> so there you go. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, you know, every, every, everything you like is uh, uh, built on human suffering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the episode. See you later. <laughs> All right, bye. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, so you can sue, you can now sue for, for simping. For being too horny. Yep. For falling in love. I was thinking, <laughs> singing about, singing about uh, someone saying, I'm about to simp instead of I'm about to come. <laughs> I'm about a simp. <laughs> yeah, we should wrap up this segment with uh, this dude losing the Mr. Beast game. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. No, and then we got to talk about the Ninja XQC shit. Did you see that? Oh yeah, I don't even want to feed into that, bro. Oh I, come on, oh, it's so good. Oh, oh my no, God, you're no out. fun. Get you're out no of here fun. No. Shout out XQC, man, doing the fucking doing the Lord's work, bro. It's so funny, dude. Anything that involves Ninja and his wife, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm all for feeding into that shit. That's just I mean, like, you know, I'm not I'm not an avid watcher of XQC, but like I'm familiar with like his his personality, like his, the way he acts, so, like reading his tweets and his voice just like had me dying dude. laughing. Dude. 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 <laughs> Man, it was oh, what, it's good. All right, fine. I'll I'll give into it a little bit. What irked me about it is basically, you know, Ninja's wife. Is there, XQC and Doc, Dr. Lupo had this exchange where you know there's this discussion about streamers getting paid to do charity mm-hmm. and not disclosing it. So there's a, you know, Lupo sees a clip and he responds to it, and XQC goes, "Hey, man, that was like pretty emotional and out of context." And uh, you know, I, 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 you know, I was, I was wrong. Sorry. It was something to that effect. And, and him and Lupo were kind of like, okay, yeah, no, it's cool. Like it's just buried. And then Ninja's wife comes in with just an arbitrary, oh my God, here he goes talking trash. Then, and you know, she's, she's basically white knighting for Lupo. Yeah. <laughs> they, they get in, they get into this exchange with the part that like fucking just unnerved me is how she literally didn't read anything about the situation and had such an opinion about what was going on. Yeah. She, like, didn't engage it at all. Yeah. It's like, who are you? Fuck out of here. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> they, have this, they have this hilarious exchange on Twitter where it's just so heated. <laughs> it's so heated. And then she, she calls him a sexist. Yeah. Because he calls her sweetie in one of the tweets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he did that because she called him QVC. Yeah, and so then, and then that bec- then it becomes a sexist argument mm-hmm. <laughs> out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And how Jess works for her money and deserves all the shit that she has, <laughs> and it's like it's not even what it was like. This in this is like in five tweets, it got it, derailed to this point. Wild, wild. And then Alinity gets in there. Oh, and she gets. <laughs> and she says, fucking... "Team Ninja loses." And he says, "Don't you have another cat to abuse?" <laughs> Ninja said that. <laughs> Uh, and then she says something about like can't take a joke and who who was it uh, Miss Giff who hit her with the fucking uh, oh, this other dude motor yeah I oh, think man. the vodka in your cat's mouth was more toxic who who who, who said that motor yeah motor yeah man yeah isn't the vodka in your <laughs> your cat's mouth more toxic wow <laughs> wow <laughs> all right let's fucking let's let's get let's get off this Twitch train with this fucking dude. So Mr. Beast is running a game where you gotta hold your finger on on a phone for uh, uh for as long as you can. As long as you can, yeah. And uh this our our boy right here gets fucking pranked. Here we go. Okay. Wait, did we get any new followers? Oh, hey Z Re, I appreciate the Oh my god! know what that means <laughs> Bruh. are you fucking kidding me <laughs> Bruh. and it, it had been three and a half hours at that point three and a half hours right oh. yeah three and a half hours of holding your finger on a phone <laughs> just to get <laughs> wrecked <laughs> by your chat <laughs> hey, 
Hey Z Re. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I gotta see that again, dude. That fucking hey, killed me. We, just so innocent. Oh, we got we got any use? We got any we got any donos? <laughs> Watch it one more time. Wait, did we get any new followers? Oh, hey Z Re. I appreciate the. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know what that means. <laughs> Yo, this frame, this frame, just the <laughs> sheer. Oh, and I the, and up. the you lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sheer. Oh fuck! Too good, bro. Too fucking good. Wow, oh, it's so funny. That's rich, man. There was like five other people that got pranked the same way. <laughs> hey, Z Re. All right, we're going to make is, other This two. is... Sorry, go ahead. We're going to make a lot of people's series go off. <laughs> well, um, by the way, um, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was just going to say, this is, this is really interesting. Like, this, like as, a, as a project, like we talked last time about, um, about the uh, step chickens, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah, right? Yeah. We talked about step chickens. Yeah. And... It just made me think about the next generation of like viral apps, because like mm -hmm. nothing new in social media is gonna happen. I feel like it's all gonna be this shit, and this is like a really interesting, um, like iteration of that. I guess. Yeah, I mean this this all speaks to what we were talking about before with, you know, entertainment is just becoming high, highly interactive, and super yeah. interactive, and and I think more and more to a point that uh, I think for, um. I don't know, like o older people and parents and shit. I think I think it's gonna completely escape them. They will not understand. They don't understand why you would sit there with your <clears> finger <throat> on your phone streaming to people why that's funny or why that's uh, entertaining. I totally agree. Imagine explaining that scenario to someone that you know doesn't know anything about even <laughs> like just an older person. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a it's Mr. Beast. <clears throat> He's a YouTuber, and he does all these things, these competitions with his friends. So this is essentially that. But, you know, with everyone in the world, whoever wants to uh, engage in this, plus you can live stream yourself in this game, like it would just be like impossible, you know? Yeah, their parents would be like, the fuck are you talking about? Now driving down to the gas station so I can buy more scratchers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, this is essentially that. <laughs> like, no, it's not. This is a normal <laughs> thing to do. Now imagine if everyone... Imagine if thousands of people were watching you scratch off your scratchers. <laughs> like on the TV? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, bro. I mean, you know what's funny is, so this dude on my stream, he, uh, he, his mom asked him what he was doing. And he was like, oh, I'm watching this dude play this game. She was like, sounds like Loserville. So... Uh, I was like, Loserville? And I said, put your fucking, I was like, put your mom on the phone. Put her on this, like, put the, hand her the phone right now. And I will, let me talk to her. Wait, what is this on? It was on, it was on Twitch. So like, okay. he's like, so he, uh, he like donates and he's like, yo, um, uh, my mom is watching now and her name is Cindy. So like, I go on like this kind of one way rant for like a minute. I wasn't trying to be preachy. I was just like, look, man, I was like, you can't judge your kid. I'm like, you never had media like this growing up. You could never directly interact with the host of anything. I'm like, that, that's why he watches it. So it's not just like a dude playing a game. You know, it's like the same way you would watch fucking Johnny Carson or Jimmy Fallon, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, so this whole medium, you can't call it Loserville because you don't get it. I'm like, it's, yeah. it's a very normal and modern thing. And he said, all she told me was, you shouldn't watch this. He cusses too much. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Cindy. All right. Yeah, maybe fudge I Fudge off, Cindy. Yeah, fudge off, Cindy. Okay, you Karen. That was like such like some fucking Oh my god, dude. That shit got on my fucking nerves. I'm like, okay. She kinda she kinda owned you. Yeah, she did. She, she kind of really. took a W there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, all that is cool, but a little too much cursing. So why don't we yeah. try that again? <laughs> yeah, it's not that deep, Noel. You cuss too much. <laughs> oh, man. 
No, you got ta- owned. You got no. owned by a mom. Yeah, I did. I did get owned by a mom. It's all right. I'll hit her up next time she's on her fucking opioid prescription. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry. I Take dropped, that, Carol. Yeah, I just dropped that one in the chat, Cindy. <laughs> All right, guys, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about something we could all use more of right now. That's sex. Great sex, okay? (laughs) Guys, now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. That's blue like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can pop them anytime, day, night, full stomach. You, You know, you're at a wedding, maybe. Or something, and you're getting a little bit horny because of the romance and everything. Yeah. And maybe the love the, that's in the air. Maybe, maybe you're at the, the DMV, you want to spice DMV. it up? Pop mm-hmm. a blue chew, man. Yep. Yeah, the DMV also <laughs> always gets me riled up, dude. Something about the line and just the vibe in there. It's just fucking, <laughs> ugh, man. Blue chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. It's even cheaper than a pharmacy, and they prepare and ship right to you in a discreet package. No awkwardness. No, uh, you don't need to leave the house. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell them about the deal? Um, well, right now, there's a special deal where you get your first shipment free. and use the promo code TMG. You just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's blue com promo code TMG, to try it for free. Okay? All you got to do is pay $5 for the shipping. Blue Chew is better, cheaper, faster. All right. And we want to thank them for sponsoring this uh, podcast. And remember, when you support our sponsors, you help make this podcast possible. So, you know, uh, head on over to bluechew.com. Use the promo code TMG. Uh, don't sit around, softy. Get hard. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Shout out to the boy Bama, man. He's cool. He's cool. Um, yo, speaking of uh, the future and media changing and end times. Let's give a big old clap it up to this girl, this woman on TikTok, not girl, grown ass woman on TikTok Ooh. getting um a, a fucking NFC reader in her palm and everyone freaking oh, out about this. Oh, so good. I didn't even watch the video because I wanted to save it for the podcast. Yeah. Wait, can you turn on the screen sharing? Oh, on yeah, 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 yeah. So I can see this. Whoops, that's my dick. Uh, Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, switch just, a big, just a full screen picture of just your a, dick just a big old on your pc oh sorry bro i was photoshopping that yeah, earlier. oh man i was trying to extend it a little bit <laughs> bro have you seen that twitter video of the dude uh uh i don't know it was a tiktok right where he does panorama on his finger and he's like boys <laughs> yep yep yeah <laughs> so good yeah, I, I watched it and i had to try it just to just to see what would happen it looks it lo- I was like dying laughing, <laughs> doing panorama to my dick, <laughs> and laughing at how warped you can make it. <laughs> yeah, it's got like an S in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, you got to do that shit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do the panorama, but fuck it up, like yeah, zigzag yeah, we gotta, it. <laughs> we gotta all have Loch Ness monsters. Yeah, and and in our and completely be st- stone face serious about it. Be like, what? Mm-hmm. That's like that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> do what do you mean? What is? What are, what are, what do other dudes look like? You could, dude. Could you imagine? That would be so fucking funny to actually whip out like a bendy straw, like a loopy straw dick, where it's like, <laughs> it's like some crazy shape. Oh like, my god! Some girls the- like send me send me a pic. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. How big is it? You're like, all right, <laughs> send it off. It's got a full loop de loop in it. Shit looks like a tuba. It's just fucking. <laughs> it's just no, like a French horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's just hella, <laughs> just like a little <laughs> crazy water slide dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of a French horn, <laughs> but not the circular part. It's the part in the middle. <laughs> yeah, where it's all like spaghetti. No, but the, en- the end is the same too. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a turtle dick. A turtle dick looks like a fucking French <laughs> horn. It's crazy. That's actually <laughs> that's actually where they got the name for the turtle dick. That's the non scientific name, the French horn. Oh fuck. <clears throat> Anyways. All right. 
I've, okay, I'll, I'll say, I've, I've brought this up before. I've watched a video on people that do this, but anyway. Oh, I'm getting shipped today. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm so freaking nervous. It's funny. Yeah. I got shipped today and it freaking hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hand's a key. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We've talked about this before. People just get the like an NFC thing in there and fucking unlock doors and that like that's it. Like it doesn't have any real <laughs> real interesting use. No, it does. They you just think? don't know what it is. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. No, I'm saying it's interesting for the government. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's not not this it'll it'll forever for them just be unlocking their door. That's no, completely. And this is, and it'll never lose its appeal to them either. This is how we'll do it for years, and every time we'll be like the first time. Ah, oh, that's so fucking cool. Meanwhile, the government is just scraping data about their fucking <laughs> what they're doing, bro. Th I mean, truly, this is how it starts. This is how the fuck it starts. There's, you know, it's it's gonna be some dumb shit like this. Is, I was looking into, um, what is it? So BMW now, they offer the ability to uh, authorize digital keys. So you can pass a digital key to someone to like move your car and you can like set boundaries for it so it can't be driven a certain distance and <clears throat> da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. I, I looked at that and I said, oh yeah, here we go. There, and then give it two years and you walk into the dealership, they go, yeah, and we can put it in your hand. Yeah. Ooh, 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 I'm a techie. I would love that. Bro. I love my my techie husband. Oh, that word. My techie husband decided to give me a chip. He He's always <sighs> messing with devices. He gets every new iPod that comes out. He's such a techie. <laughs> and then I guess we get, we're getting chipped because he's a techie. Yeah, techie just means you fucking know how to use an Alexa. Yeah, any any like actual techie would know you should never, never. fucking do this yeah. ever. Yeah, in a million years. <laughs> who, who's the dude who created fucking uh uh Unix? What's his name? Hold up. Um, I um, forget. Uh. Uh. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm thinking of this video Linux. where search Linux. <sighs> No, no, no. Yeah. Like, Wasn't him? I, th I think it was Richard Stallman. Okay. What did he make? Um, maybe he created Ubuntu? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So, um, I like, I always <laughs> think of that, that this fucking classic clip of him saying, you know, <clears throat> the cloud is the worst thing ever and software should be st like strict ownership and when you purchase software it should be yours and when you have images they should be yours and none of it should be shared or you know given to anyone uh -huh. and i just i like pe people are going to watch that clip in 20 years and when he becomes like a you know uh, uh, in his death he'll become like a demigod of, of someone who saw the future coming and you know, when we're all eating Amazon burgers with our, <laughs> our fucking X-Vax chips, your people are going to be unhooking it from their skin, being like, this is for you, Richard. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, he's going to be the guy that everyone idolizes. And, you know, he's tried to save us. <laughs> <laughs> we should have listened. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Like, I, I, say, I say you should never do this, but I'm... Also being hypocritical when I say that because um, you got an Apple Watch. Apple Watch. I mean, we carry our phones everywhere, everywhere. we go. Yes, yeah, I, I said the Elon chip would be a good thing. Yeah, his Neuralink chip. <sighs> yep, because he makes the point. He's like, we're already chipped. Everyone brings these shits around wherever they go, no matter what. And if you don't, yep. you feel like you're empty when you're without your device. Yep. And I'm never, I'm never without my device unless I'm surfing. But even then, I have an Apple Watch on. Yeah. So I'm never without anything. We're already fucking chipped. We might as well just <clears throat> fucking put them in our skin. Mm -hmm. So that's remember, my counterpoint. I remember I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring counterpoints to everything. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I mean, d dude, to that point, I remember reading this 4chan post about uh, it, was, it was when Bitcoin was was really starting to pop, and a dude was talking about 
um, th- there was like some argument about how buying Bitcoin wasn't truly anonymous uh, down to like a hardware level. And this dude wrote this pretty in-depth process on how you would, at a hardware level, um, completely spoof purchase of Bitcoin and like protect <clears throat> yourself. And it, it was pretty wild. The He was saying like the layers you would have to go through to actually be off the grid for something like that. It's basically like you'd have to steal a laptop and then like spoof an like a, you'd have to go to like a public Wi-Fi network and then <clears throat> spoof as someone else's device on the network and then you would purchase it and then like you know whatever and and so you know it makes me think the whole thing about like it's it's not just easy I mean you could just throw out your phone right but it's like it I even when I think about like VPNs and stuff I think is that really enough like just masking your IP. You know, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's probably not. <clears throat> like, I, like it, it, it makes me question like our VPNs and all that. Just you know, false sense of, of security and is it truly no, just like? I don't think so. I think it's. I think VPNs are actually. I mean, they de- they secure. definitely help. They definitely and help. And that actually brings us to the sponsor of this. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nord VPN. No, I actually think that <laughs> VPNs are are massively massively secure. helpful, especially yeah. for watching Netflix in different countries. <laughs> uh, no, because the 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 way they caught the pirate bay guy guy, they couldn't catch him because he was using VPNs. I'm pretty sure on okay. public Wi-Fi, like at libraries and shit like that. Yeah, but I think how they caught him is like some old forum post that he made from a username that he reused oh. for some reason. And it was like, you know, uh, like 15 years old on some random fucking forum. Um, and they caught him that way. I feel like I've said this so much, but I just have to say it again. When there was that little trend of like, log into my Snapchat and post something and people would put their passwords in those DMs to me, their passwords were no different from their usernames. It was wild. Or, or like people using weird shit, like they think it like their birthday and their varsity high school number is a good password. I'm like, that yeah. shit is so fucking public, you dummy. I can find yeah. that right. I get Someone's listening to this right now and they're using like their number from basketball <clears throat> from high school and they think that that shit's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Change your <laughs> fucking password. What do you mean? It's Catherine Cheerleader. Wh- who would know that? That's a secure password. What's your name? Catherine? <laughs> what do you do? Well, I'm a cheerleader. Mm. Bro. The funniest shit is like bank security questions, that stuff. People put that out there all the time. The fucking, any Instagram post, I bet you could find out where they were born, find their (laughs) mom's Instagram, bet you could find her grandma for her maiden name or her, her grandpa. I bet you could find, you know, the first car they ever drove. Like all that shit is somewhere. Yeah, dude. (laughs) Dude, it, it. If they, if someone wants to get your info, they they'll get it. It's so easy. They will get it, dude. The people go to great lengths to do that. I had someone trying to hack me. They were making <sighs> fake Facebook accounts of my family members and adding my family members. Yep. Trying to chat with them, posing as like my aunt. <laughs> I was gonna say that's, something. that's some real shit. That's fucked up. You know. I was gonna say something. This shit you don't even think of. Yeah. No. I mean that that's that's dark as hell and. But that's what it takes. Social engineering is like the first and uh, like easiest step. I, I basically, yeah. for all of my, like any service I use where th- things can be changed over the phone, I've like, like I, I repeatedly like call in and put notes like any changes to the account have to be done in person with an ID. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's a good call. But uh, <clears throat> I mean, either way, it's like, yeah, it, it, um, what the fuck was I was gonna say? You're such a techie. I'm such a techie, man. I, I You're can't, such yeah. a techie. Dude. I'm such a techie, man. <laughs> I got my Alexa to order my groceries. I'm just such a techie, you know. Here's the thing, dude. I keep I keep separate passwords for everything, and I keep them all in a spreadsheet <laughs> on my Google Drive. <laughs> You're like, oh, and that's well. why people call me a techie. <laughs> Dude, this is morbid as hell, but uh, people can't do that to my parents because my parents don't fucking use social media at all. They both are bugged out by it, especially mm-hmm. my dad. Mm-hmm. My dad thinks Facebook is the fucking devil. Yeah. And um, 
you know, a lot of his family is uh, deceased now, so <laughs> they can't spoof anybody. <laughs> Could you imagine that shit getting a fucking DM from your dead brother? Hey, dude, it's been a while. <laughs> um, yeah, you're fucking dead. <laughs> oh, oh, I just I am. Oh no, it, I it's I'm a ghost. I just wanted to ghostly watch your Netflix account. I heard it's a cool thing. <laughs> I want to check in with the modern era. <laughs> I also wanted to ask you, what was the first concert we went to? <laughs> you know what freaked me the fuck out? What? I was on stream, and someone in the middle of the chat goes, Noel, what did you say your phone service provider was again? I was like, I've Ooh. never mentioned that ever. Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah. So I've, I've maybe, never maybe mentioned it was that. A, maybe it's the same dude that's in the studio. <laughs> dude. I mean, mm? <laughs> <laughs> this is creepy. This is creepy. I don't like talking about this. It's creepy as fuck, man. It's scary, but you know, I'm with the I'm with the meat boys. Yeah, I'm with the meat guys. <sighs> you know, just change your passwords, guys. Be safe. You know, that's just from one techie to another. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we started talking about security, but whatever, man. Yeah. I I feel like, you know, we used to talk about this stuff earlier on, you know. So maybe for all the new listeners, it's important that you know we still have uh we still have our software roots, man. Mhm. Still have our programming. That's what I mean. We also don't know everything about this. There's probably I mean, there definitely is shit that people are doing that we have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Totally. That they're doing. Totally. Before before people knew about the social engineering shit, no like they were like how the fuck am I getting hacked? Yeah. How the fuck is this happening? Yeah. Like, I mean, bro, what what was that real famous hack uh like six years ago with Amazon? The heart a heartbeat attack or heartworm? Not heartworm, that's for dogs. Um it wasn't it like AWS and like a lot of big services, it was like a problem with their servers where basically like really important information was being stored in virtual memory. Uh, uh, what is this? I forget. I totally forget. Oh, I remember that. Uh, Heartbleed. Yeah. Yep, yep. I totally remember that. It's like an exploit like that is is it's you know obviously hyper specific, but I always think about that when when people say shit like, "Oh, what's the big deal?" Like, I have nothing to hide, or I have you know, uh, uh, whatever, steal my info. It's like, dude, there are people smarter than you that know how to use that information against you. You know. Yeah. And and, yeah. and you can't in in the modern age you can't say stuff you can't sit there and go ah oh, well it's probably fine it's probably fine because like Equifax and them didn't want to spend the money for like security and mm -hmm. even companies that invest in security they could still get outsmarted so mm -hmm. you know just from sitting inside this long I've I realized <laughs> that I'm gonna sell all my possessions and become <laughs> positionless. Completely independence of all uh, mm, yes. technology. Mm, technology. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to use wood as a way of communicating. Mm. I just want to mail people wood with messages. <laughs> I'll carve the message into the wood and that's how I'll communicate. Yeah, that's really interesting. You know, I know a guy. I got a friend who wants to communicate with Wood. And I told him, you can do that. You can. You know, you know what's actually, who's actually really good at doing that, at communicating with Wood is chimps. <laughs> chimps are really, really good. And those fuckers are violent, too. They'll tear <laughs> your face off. They will. They will. What if the meta on podcasting is just eventually all of all of podcasters become bald and we all turn into Joe? Mm. Like I'm stage one, and then eventually you're gonna shave your head, and then be like, we'll start training yeah. MMA. Yeah, and, and then, then one day I'll be like, dude, dude, have you, have you ever had elk? It's insane. Elk in a sauna. Elk <laughs> in a sauna. You beat the gene pool. Ten times out you know, of eleven. You know who I think is kind of, kind of like the next Joe Rogany type type show is Theo Vaughn. Yeah, 
Yeah, whoever books his guests has been like just crushing it, trying to get the yeah. The, he just gets the most, you know, the most eclectic group of people, you know, that a comedian wouldn't normally interview because you know all comedians' podcasts are just comedians. There's just mm-hmm. like other comedians that yeah. that go on promoting like each other's shows. Has been, you know, he had Diplo on. He had um. Yeah, Boosie. He had Boosie on. Who else has he had recently? Yeah. Like, and it's everyone. He has left wing people on. He has right wing people on. He had that fucking uh, Tori, Tori, uh, what the fuck is her name? Lo- uh, Lo- Tommy Lauren on. Oh, I didn't watch that. Did he? Yeah, did, it's did ridiculous. He, did he fry her beans? No, I think he just tried to have a conversation with her. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I know people from time to time have said, oh, you guys should have guests, but I don't know, man. That's so, so, I I'm, I would like to have more people like Mark McGrath on. Yeah, no, that that's totally cool. Sometimes I don't know the whole guest thing. Sometimes it just feels like such a play, and I feel like it maybe gets away from what you're trying to do a bit. But yeah, like if it's like a Mark McGrath where it's like genuine, yeah, totally. No, but think as a as a listener, I don't know. I love when I see like these random guests. Like it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. <clears throat> that's fair. Um, I want to just end this episode by congratulating. Uh, Kim Kardashian on becoming a billionaire. Oh yeah, yeah! Congrats. Um, I think that's an incredible thing. <laughs> and to celebrate that, we're gonna watch the Ray J tape on the bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you know it's amazing. I, I love this Kanye tweet. We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic where it's record unemployment rates, and he's like, "I want to congratulate my beautiful wife for becoming a billionaire." <laughs> God is shining on our family tonight, or whatever. <laughs> And he and he snaps a pic of uh of her uh beautiful green pumpkin here. Pumpkins and a flower. Uh, isn't that funny? Did you listen to his new song? Um I actually haven't. I, um yesterday was crazy, so I haven't uh, haven't listened to it. Mm. I need to watch the video as well. I wanna watch the video with the song because I feel like it is uh they go hand in hand. I feel like that's you gotta do it together. Yeah, I didn't watch the video. I haven't watched it yet. Song's good though. Uh, all right. Well, I'll peep. All right, I'm gonna take a piss. See y'all in the bone zone. I'm it's time for the me, bone uh, zone. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, First yeah. in the docket, Lele Pons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little bit of the Lele. Little bit of Lele. All right. All right, guys. See you. See ya. <laughs>